and she gets a lot of her influence from her parents, who are both artists, and she definitely loves puzzles. Sydney is currently a sophomore in printmaking and drawing at the University of North Carolina Greensboro. She is exploring projects focusing on textile printing and embroidery. Hi, I'm Sydney Lee and today you will be doing a take on my most recent social practice project. To me, social practice is elevating daily activities until they become art. And I find it most interesting when you glance at something and it seems normal and then you go back and you sort of investigate and something is a little bit off. So for my most recent project, I set up a bake sale in the lobby of the art building here at UNCG. So you will be doing a take on that and I challenge you to create some sort of fair trade that doesn't involve any currency at all. So for my project, I had everyone exchange one fact for either their choice of a cupcake or a cookie. And for your project, you'll be doing sort of the same thing. You can set up a bake sale, a lemonade stand, or a shoe shine, or anything really, as long as your trade is one fact. So this project has a lot to do with the bartering system, actually, which dates back to 6000 BC when it was first introduced by the Mesopotamians. Before traditional money was invented, goods were exchanged for food, weapons, and things like tea and spices. Um, and it actually became really popular again in the Great Depression, where people exchanged their talents uh, in, in exchange for food and such. Right. It's, it's interesting to know that it came back during the, the Great Depression, and actually to know that you know, right now in the 21st century, we might be closer to 6,000 years ago before Great Era because, for example, in Detroit people are using the same system or a similar system to survive exchanging um, skills and goods and not using money at all. So we might be in an economic situation that is, uh, Sydney's project is very welcome. Yeah, I really like this project, especially since it has a 21st century connection. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Detroit is not the only city that is uh, going through economic um, issues right now. So, and also, but at the same time, it provides a very creative and fun way to get out of crisis like that. So it's, it's beautiful. sale in one way or another, whether that be a video recording of your customer saying their fact, a written fact by your customer, or a photograph. At the end of the project, you'll have a factual documentary of sorts of all of the facts that your customers have told you. The challenge really is to find a product that people will want to buy, and that was what I struggled with the most. So good luck, have fun, and I hope you get some really good facts.